For well over a hundred years, visitors to Old North have experienced a white and fairly austere interior, but the view from the pews is about to get a lot more interesting. For its first 200 years, the sanctuary of Old North Church was a feast for the eyes, with a series of decorative paint schemes building upon one another throughout the years. John Gibbs, an accomplished painter and a congregation member, completed the first major interior decoration of the church beginning in 1727. He painted 20 cherubs on the gallery arches, painted the lower columns a stone color, and the gallery fronts, upper columns, and the arch edges were given a faux cedar wood treatment. Subsequent generations added more and more decorative paint elements. For reasons we don't understand, the interior of the church was painted white in 1912. Across the gallery, you can see one lonely cherub that was uncovered during a paint study in 2017. This fall, murals and paintings conservationist Gianfranco Pocobene will be in the church working to uncover four more angels as well as the accompanying festoons. Then, he'll go off-site where he'll paint replicas of the remaining angels that will be placed in those arches, which will protect those paintings for future conservation technology and techniques. Uh, the church has undergone several um, restoration campaigns and uh, therefore there are like maybe three, four uh, layers of uh, overpaint um, as they redecorated the church and the final finish is obviously this whitewash. And the really complicated thing with our work is the removal of these oil paint layers that sit on top of the original uh, and doing that without doing damage to the original surfaces. We use a number of uh, solvents and uh, what are called solvent gels, basically thickened uh, uh, swelling and dissolving materials that are applied to the surface of the paint and then covered over with a piece of like plastic. And right now we're beginning the testing of this, you know, do you uh, let that dwell for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour? And it, initially we're just doing very small tests to determine the best approach to doing the work. The idea here is to reveal four of these cherubs. The next and the other big challenge is going to be uh, replicating the rest of the cherubs that were uh, that are covered uh, over by paint. And we have to do that because it would just be ridiculously prohibitive to just try to reveal everything. So uh, once we've uh, uncovered the four cherubs that we're working on, we will then take photographs, do tracings of them, and we will do replicas of those cherubs in our studio up in Lawrence, Massachusetts. And they will be actually painted on canvas. And then once they're finished, they'll be brought here on site and adhered to those portions that are now uh, overpainted. You're revealing history in front of their eyes. So it's, I, I think, will be a really interesting uh, feature for visitors. I know that when I go to places, um, historic places in other countries where there's restoration happening, it's fascinating to me. And I think a lot of people really find it engaging and find it uh, interesting to know what's happening and why. Exciting projects like this which will give us a glimpse of the Old North Church that Paul Revere knew as a young bell ringer, are only possible because of the partnership of supporters who believe in the importance of preserving Old North Church for future generations.